Hey everyone, welcome to Shop Talk. We're looking at some of the common tools a chainsaw guy uses on a daily basis in the saw shop. You see the pressure vacuum gauges. I use several of them. Compression tester in the back. And there's that kit I sell. It's very popular. It is a pressure vacuum test kit for the crankcase as well as other applications. It comes with the spark plug adapter and the block off so you can test the crankcase. You can check fuel lines, fuel filters, oil reservoirs. Several tests you can do with it. There's the bearing installers as well as the crankshaft extractor and if you're interested in purchasing any of these tools if you're wanting to learn how to properly work on chainsaws I'd be glad to give you some information. We're going to zero in on the pressure vacuum gauge and a couple of tests you can do. Very time saving when you're in the shop working on a lot of equipment. I was working on a trimmer the other day. Customers complained about a lean running condition. Quick check of the fuel lines showed they were good. Quick check of the fuel filter, and you can see they had an issue. You can see how it holds vacuum; should just bleed right off. To the eye, it did look good, but with a static test, you can see where you had an issue. I've made up a lot of oil caps, gas caps, by drilling the drilling a hole, putting a fuel line in them. You can check the reservoirs for leaks. Check the reservoirs for the vent. Check fuel systems for leak on the uh, plastics, check uh, vents, just a great tool. And if you want to check the characteristic of the fuel tank, you can pressurize it, tell if it's leaking anywhere, put some soap, soapy water on it, you can check for leaks. You can also check the vent, put it on vacuum, and it holds the vacuum, release your finger on the hose, and you see it bleed off. Just a great tool. If you're interested in purchasing any of these tools, let me know. I do have a special going on the pressure vacuum gauge right now. I have a few of these left. You can call me or I can give you the link where I sell these online. 